Right. So, man, it's Sarah Kasai and Jesse Bam Rodriguez. Not Bam Bam. You know, what a, you know, a, a great fight it was last night with, uh, uh, you know, Jesse Bam Rodriguez. And I'm looking at this fight like, damn, did his opponent, uh, Sorox, uh, Sorox Javai, did he even train for this fight? I mean, it was like this kid, he had no legs whatsoever. I mean, once Jesse Bam hit him, like his head was snap and, and his legs were just, you know, one punch. It, it was like he was, he was being pushed back or something, but he wasn't. He wasn't being pushed on or anything like that. He was just, you know, being tagged and whatnot. I'm like, damn. But, you know, they use the age factor and everything in this fight, you know, with Jesse Bam only being uh, 22 years old and his uh, opponent, he's being like, what is he, like 35, 36 or so? Like, damn, you know, yeah, they say the, the, the much more smaller fighters, yeah, they get worn and torn faster than uh, any other fighter in like in the upper upper class divisions and whatnot. I guess from 147 on up or 131 up. However... Uh, Shakur Stevenson, he dropped his, uh, you know, a little gem. And, you know, he was saying that um, Jesse Bam Rodriguez, he will be ready to dethrone Anui within two years. OK, I mean, look, the young kid looked impressive last night. I mean, um, I mean, the way he just took apart his opponent and everything's but. Some people thinks that Shakur Stevenson is uh, thinking, you know, far ahead of the game. He's thinking like a uh, a casual boxing fan. You know, uh, they, you know, got to remind the man that, listen, Jesse Ban Rodriguez, yeah, he looks sharp in his past two fights. But what y'all got has to understand is that, you know, his past two opponents were damaged goods. You know, they're both these guys was like, like way past their prime. I mean, like they seen their last heyday like four or five years ago okay like you know if jesse rodriguez was you know like in anui's class or anything like that now you know or anything you know his promoters his handlers will put him in the ring with guys like chocolate tito gonzalez uh anui he'll, he'll do all this stuff right now you, you know um with estrada and everything you know they'll do all that stuff now but from what other sources are saying that they are handling this kid very well. Yeah, they're making him look sharp and everything, but he's not quite there yet. But from what I'm seeing, yeah, I mean, the boy looked good, all right? Um, I haven't seen him fight that much. You know, I've seen a couple of his fights, but yeah, he looks great, all right? And especially in that fight last night. But, you know, they have to go with the age factor. Oh, yeah, you know, he's old. And you can't forget that, you know, them fighters down in the lower weight divisions, they age faster and everything. I'm like, man, like, you know, I wish I can counter that by saying, you know, like older fighters such as George Foreman and whatnot. He took on a young uh, Michael Moore who was only 25 and George Foreman was like 42, 43. And he, you know, destroyed Michael Moore. I mean, he got busted up trying to do it. But, you know, yeah, it was his knockout power that helped them out and everything. But, um, yeah. You know, he was still over like past his prom when he did it. Um, Floyd Mayweather was only, um, oh God, these damn house flies. He was only what, 36, 35 when he took on Canelo Alvarez, who was 23. And the much skilled Floyd Mayweather outboxed the much younger Canelo Alvarez. You know what I'm saying? So looking at that and then looking at this young 22 year old and what he's doing to people who was like the same age as Floyd Money Mayweather was when he took on Canelo Alvarez, this says a lot. Okay, I mean he, he's taking on some pretty good. Um, uh, uh, he, he took on a pretty good warrior and Saragas uh, Ragasai. You know, what I mean, I have a hard time saying that name. All right, but yeah, man, Saragasai was a pretty good warrior. But other people tried to take away, you know, Jesse Bam's glory by saying that, you know, look, Saragasai. And uh, Jesse Bam's uh, opponent before him were way over the hill. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's being matched carefully. Y'all heard me say it before. You know, no need to be to repeat myself. But I, I think Shakur Stevenson. You know, hey, I, I think he's right. You know, I, I think he'll be a, a good match for Anayu. And other fans even say, who the hell has Anayu ever faced? Huh? Who has he ever faced? I mean, he's being carefully matched too. 
So, hey, you know, we got two carefully matched uh, opponents who can get in the ring and show the world what they got. So, anyways, that's my take on this. This is CMD Boxing Reports. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.